Today, we're going to be talking about getting ungated to sell name brand products on Walmart. If you're not familiar with what gated means, across Walmart, there are certain categories and products that as a newer seller, you are not allowed to sell. This is very similar to on Amazon, where they also gate certain products and categories from newer sellers. And it's because of a couple of reasons. The first reason is due to legal issues. There are certain brands that Walmart owns and they don't want anyone selling their IP on their own platform. So they restrict those. Other products are going to be like high-end perfumes or different beauty products, where a lot of these brands have agreements with Walmart where they're going to restrict any other sellers from selling these products on the Walmart platform. So Walmart has agreements with those brands. And then there are going to be other categories like Halloween products, or there could be certain brands like Disney or Marvel. And what it comes down to a lot of these products is that Walmart does not want any newer sellers coming onto the platform and selling counterfeit items or selling fake products or anything like that. So what they do is they gate certain brands and certain categories and they make you go through an approval process so that you can sell these products. So let's say I was trying to find a winning product and I found this product and it's selling like 10 bajillion units a month. I can get it for $1 and it's selling for $100. This is the dream product. But when I go to sell it on Walmart, it is going to give me a little error. And we're going to look at that error and I'm going to show you how to get around it. And I'm going to show you how you can start selling products that are selling a bajillion times a month. Well, maybe not that many, but you're definitely going to be able to sell more name brand products like Disney, like Lego, like Marvel. So first, let's talk about how do you know if a product or a category is gated? Well, to make this easier, I'm going to include a list down below that you can download. And that list is going to have a couple of different brands and categories that I've run into that have been gated for me. And I'm also going to continuously update that list so that you know those products and those brands are gated. The other way that you can do it is by going to your account and trying to upload an item. So if you have an item that you want to list, what you can do is you can go to manage items and then you can click add items. On the next page, you're going to go ahead and you can enter in the information into the catalog. So if you just have one item, you can search for it in the Walmart catalog. I'm using the Walmart product ID and then I'm trying to sell this Pokemon trading card game. Next, you're going to click add item and then you're going to fill in all the details. So if you just want to do it seller fulfilled, you can fill in the basic information. If you want to do it Walmart fulfilled, then you're just going to fill in the other information that is asked you. And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to press save item or save information. So after you submit the listing, it's going to take about five to 10 minutes, but then you're either going to see if it was successful or if there was an error. Now, if there was an error, you can come to your items and you can click on error and then it will show you all the items that have an error. Now there are different types of errors, but it will always show it to you under the status tab. So you want to go to the status column and then it's going to show you the error and then you can just hover over it and it'll show you the reason. So for the Pokemon item that I just listed, it says certain items and categories require pre-approval from Walmart before sellers may offer them for sale. For more details, please visit. And then it gives you this uh, different page that you can visit. And then it also tells you that you can create a case with partner support and include the code IP EV or case subject for pre-approval restrictions. So this basically means that I am not approved to sell Pokemon items. And if I want to go ahead and do it, I have to create a case with customer support. So when it gives you that error reason or it gives you something with similar wording, that means that you are actually allowed to sell it. You just need to go ahead and you need to submit authentication or you need to go ahead and you need to submit a receipt or an invoice showing that you are selling a legitimate product. The other errors that you might see are going to be like this. So you'll see right here on this Ozark trail item that I have an error that says this item is prohibited because it violates one of our legal or compliance policies. So for this item, I would not be allowed to sell it. Doesn't matter how many cases or how many people I called at Walmart, I would not be allowed to sell it because Ozark trail is a Walmart brand. So this is their IP. This is their brand. They're not going to let anyone sell it on their platform except for them. Another item that I tried to list is going to be this Adventure Force. And this is a Stranger Things themed item. And if I click the error, it says, this item is prohibited due to a Walmart policy in which Walmart has partnered with select brands for more details, create a case for partner support. So I can create a case for this, but they're just going to tell me that I'm not allowed to sell this product because uh, it's prohibited. And they're just, again, going to tell you that you're not allowed to sell certain brands or certain products that have partnered with Walmart. So this tends to be products that are for themes or for movies, as well as it also tends to be like high-end perfume or stuff like that. Now that was on the brand level, but you'll also see it for different categories. So a category that you'll see it for is Halloween. Uh, there's also going to be select seasonal categories, select beauty categories, grocery categories, and it can be very niche. So it's not just going to be like the Halloween category. It might be like Halloween candy shaped in a certain way. So there's no real way to tell what is gated until you actually just go ahead and try to list the item. So now let's talk about how you can get approved to sell different brands like Disney, like Marvel, like all of these different brands that have extremely profitable products that sell very quickly. 
So the way that you're going to do it is you're going to need a valid proof of purchase from an authorized source. So this can either be from a retailer or it can be from a wholesale supplier or a distributor or from the manufacturer themselves. So the easiest way to do this is by buying it from a wholesale supplier or from a retailer. I think a retailer is easier because you can just go to the store and Walmart does accept physical receipts. So for this Pokemon product, I could actually buy it from Walmart. I can go to a Walmart near me and I can get a physical receipt and then I can take pictures of it and upload it to a case or I can also order it online. Now make sure you don't do it for pickup, but instead that you get a digital invoice from Walmart and then you can also upload that. I've heard from other sellers that sometimes Walmart can be iffy about accepting invoices or receipts from their own website. So other places that you can try are Target. You can also try Amazon Business. Amazon Business is a business-centered portal on the Amazon website. And this is also a great way that you can go ahead and get approved to sell different brands on Walmart. I've used Amazon Business, I've used Target, I've also used CVS. So you can go ahead and you can definitely try it with just one unit because unlike Amazon, you actually do not need 10 units. You just need to purchase one unit of that brand and it has to be of the brand as well as the product that you're trying to list. So for this Pokemon product, even though I'm trying to get approved in Pokemon overall, because I'm trying to list this specific Pokemon product, it needs to be the exact product that I am trying to list as well as the exact brand. So just make sure all of that information is on the invoice as well as the receipt. And that information is going to include the date and time that you purchased it. Make sure that it's pretty recent. It has to be the exact number of units. It has to be have the price on there. It also has to have the location and just all the information showing that you actually purchased this item and it has to show that it's from a credible source. So the source's information needs to be on there. That's more uh, relevant if you're purchasing it from a wholesale supplier or from a distributor. Once you have all of that information you're then going to go to help and then you're going to go to contact support then you're going to select a support category and that's going to be items and inventory and then the next category that you're going to click is going to be item is unpublished and then lastly you're going to select right here based off of the error that you're seeing so if you're seeing the compliance error code and we did see that on one of the items then you would go ahead and you'd click that but for this pokemon one i didn't see that and it was talking about an ip issue so we're going to go back to support and we're going to click the trust and safety error code uh, and then if you're having other issues you can also click right here and then that is going to prompt you to create a case so it's going to tell you all the information that it needs so after reading this article this is really going to help us because we do need to create a case we're then going to go did this resolve your issue so we're going to click no and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open a case via email. So then it's going to open up a case and we're going to make sure that the information matches what it needs us to put there. So we have the error status and it says to put in the subject pre-approval restrictions. So we're going to take this, we're going to copy it and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that right here. And then it says, please provide description of the issue. And then in the body, you're then going to describe the issue. So the way that I always do it is I usually put the Walmart ID for the listing that I'm trying to get ungated for. You can also do multiple different listings if you buy different products from one retailer. So from Target, let's say you buy one Disney product, you buy one Pokemon, and then you buy a Halloween item or you buy something else. Maybe you buy like a different lawn chair brand or you buy like an automotive product. Then you can also go ahead and you can put the Walmart ID. Also be sure to include the SKU of the item. So I could put the Walmart ID and then underneath that I could put SKU. And this has to match the SKU that you have inside your Seller Central. So I'm just going to put 1234 as an example. And then my message is usually pretty simple always. I say, uh, when listing the above item, I was met with an error code. And then you want to make sure that the error code is what it says. So for this one, it was IPEV. Uh, for this one below, it was going to be uh, the code is BIZ. So make sure that you're including that. And this way they have all that information. And then I say that saying that the item needed approval to list attaches my invoice for this item from a physical Walmart store. Now, this is also going to be relevant to however you got the item. So you can also say from your supplier, from your distributor, uh, from Target, from a different, uh, different location. And then I say, I purchased this item on blank and I always put the date. And then I say from the blank Walmart. So if you're in Austin, you would say from the Austin Walmart located on 123 Street, Austin, Texas. So the reason I put this address, especially if you're sourcing from a Walmart, is it makes it all that much more easier for them to go ahead and verify the receipt. Again, all the information that you're providing here is going to be uh, correlated and is going to mash up exactly to what is on the receipt. So next you're going to go ahead and you're going to say, is this for a single item or a multiple item? So this is for a single item for me, but if you're doing multiple, then you would go ahead 
and you would select multiple and then you're going to put in the item IDs. And that's exactly what I put also inside of the text box. Next, you're going to click submit case and upload files. And then from there, it's going to create a case and there's going to be a section for you to upload supporting documents. Here is where you're going to take a picture of your Walmart receipt. You can also uh, go ahead and you can scan it to make it a PDF, however you want. There are certain file types that they'll tell you that they want. And then you're going to upload it, make sure that it's the correct file size. And then you're just going to wait after you submit this, this can take anywhere between three days. Sometimes it's taken all the way up to two weeks for me to get approved. It really depends on how backed up the team is because there are a lot more people applying and a lot more people that are getting gated in these items. They are a little bit backed up at the moment, but usually they will get to it pretty quickly. And if they don't get to it right away, you can always go ahead and you can respond to the case to reopen it. Sometimes they don't even respond to it for me. I'll just go ahead and I'll see that the error status has been removed and then it is successfully published. If they need more information, they will ask for it inside of the case. And sometimes they will also respond saying that this issue has been fixed. And then this way you'll know that the item has been corrected or that you have been approved. So that is the exact way that you're going to get approved. And that is how you're going to sell all these different gated brands and categories on Walmart. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to go ahead and list them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.